Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm Chris. I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube. It is Friday, March 12th, and we have another What's Old video for you today. We're going to follow Kathy around and see what's old. Alrighty. So, I'll start with Mercari. Um, they're both over here, actually. One of them is these pants, which I had already taken out to sell at oh, yeah. GDF and put <laughs> safety pins through them, so... Luckily, those just rub right out. But yeah, uh, I hadn't got around to tagging them yet, so they were still listed on my online platform. So they sold on Mercari for $9 plus shipping. They're just Hannah Anderson Capri leggings. I only paid a dollar for those. So I'm glad they sold on Mercari because I would have sold them for like $5.50 right. for the sale. So. And we canceled our first JBF, so <laughs> the chances of them selling went down a little bit. So a pair of these play sandals. Do you need me to grab it? Size 11, voltage red. Yeah. Good to go. So yeah, these, remember, I have a whole bunch of them, $10 into each. This pair sold for 24 plus shipping on Mercari. And then I had one Poshmark sale in box L. Ow. <laughs> oh, I got shocked by the ceiling fan on my head. <laughs> uh, so these are just some Sam Edelman. I don't have the best luck with Sam Edelman. I probably am going to stop picking it up unless it's like something really fun or like from the bins maybe. But yeah. these I only had five fifty dollars into, but they took probably close to a year to sell and they sold for $25. So, not the best. All right, and then box BM. This is a Kitizen sale bundle. Sold to my friend Lacey. Um, so she got this peak shirt that says, it's like about the rainforest. It has front and back graphics. And then in box C, one of my favorite shirts. And step over Reese Bear. <laughs> This is just a whistle and flute, like an apple shirt. Um, and our son wore that to his first day of kindergarten, so a little sentimental. <laughs> um, I was gonna save it for our youngest who starts kindergarten in August, but I have the hoodie version of it, so I figured let them be a little different. <laughs> not be that weird mom that dresses them exactly the same. That's not you at all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and then, and if you do that, I'm, I'm just joking. I do that all the time, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you could see my Facebook, there's like every other weekend they have the same outfit on. So, yeah, that was it for Kitazan Mercari Posh. And then we had a number of eBay sales. So, box AQ. These actually, actually sold the same day I listed them. They're just some nice Nike men's fly knit shoes. Um, the bottoms were a little dirty, but you could tell that they were hardly worn. Like, no, none of the tread is worn down. So I listed them for $59.95 plus shipping and the buyer just bought them out right at that price. So I thought that was awesome. I only paid $10 for these. All right, and then box CM. So these Fila Skeletos. Skeletos. Uh, these are from the bins <laughs> and from my stimulus check challenge. So only a dollar or so into them. They sold for $17.75 plus shipping. And then CE. And these are just some little baby crocs uh, from my 65 pair day. This pair sold for $17.76 free shipping. They'll cost about $3, $3.50 to ship out. And I had about $4 into those. Um, and then box C. Again. These Ugg Heart Moccasins sold on eBay for $35.55 plus shipping. And I got these for $8 at Goodwill. All right, DG. Covered up down here. Uh, yeah. 
So these are some chocos. I got these at Plato's Closet. They had them priced at $25, but I had a $10 off coupon. So I paid $15, and they sold for $44, $46, plus shipping on those. One. Sorry, I always lose my place. <laughs> All right, box T. So these, um, I mentioned yesterday, I was posting some stuff to Facebook Marketplace and some baby shoes, and then I realized they weren't cross-posted to eBay. And so I cross, that was the pair yesterday, but the same thing happened with these. Mm. I hadn't had them posted, those little baby Uggs. Yeah. yeah. So these were the same thing. They weren't on eBay. I posted them to eBay. They sold on eBay today. So I've had these <laughs> for like a year. Um, so I actually got these on Kittizen as part of a bundle to get something cheaper that I wanted. So I did pay $6 and some change for them. And they only sold for $12 plus shipped because at this point I'm just sick of them. Yeah. Uh, those normally sell around $18 to $20. So if you find them for a buck or two, I'd pick them up. And we've talked about this before, but we're thinking maybe next month of listing to like eBay first for what like a couple weeks or so yeah. for a certain amount of time seeing how it sells or if it does sell and then cross listing from ebay to the other platforms yeah and maybe in the meantime while like because it'll be like to get used to doing that right like, i'll feel like well i have nothing to do but i do have plenty to do i want to relist my whole kid is in closet with list perfectly yeah um mainly because their shipping rates are going up and for kids stuff it's already hard enough to sell stuff yeah but this way if they want to buy it with the shipping separated, they can. If not, I know it'll sell on another platform. So I want to redo all that and not do free shipping anymore. Um, I started relisting my Mercari closet recently. So I can keep yeah. doing that. Poshmark. I can just relist all of my other closets. Yeah. But, yeah, I don't want to. The reason we kind of want to do that is because, like, first off, I'm always ending and relisting or deleting stuff. Yeah. When it sells, like, you know, three of these things. This sold in a day of being on eBay. These sold in a day of right. being on eBay. These Chacos were up for, like, a week. So, yeah. if these would have all sold in 30 days, I wouldn't have even spent my time crossing, cross-posting them to begin with. And then eBay, since you technically pay for a store, although I think they might be doing something different in April, but I'm not sure yet. So, I won't mention that, I guess, <laughs> but... Um, yeah, since we're paying for the store and we usually go over our thousand, our thousand listings, you know, mm -hmm. we're deleting items that we've paid 10 cents to list. So, yeah, we're just going to try it out. We'll start April 1st, I think. will be a good time to do that and then see how that goes. <laughs> and it'll be like a run. It'll eventually get to the point where we're listing yeah. and cross-listing every day. They're just different listings. Yeah. You know, like a two-week delay on your paycheck or whatever. So, um, so we're going to experiment with that next month we've been talking about it at least we like to try to um come up with with ways that we can new ways like like picking five things out of our closet every day right to list we try to think of these things to help keep us motivated and try out new things without um i don't know going going too far changing too much right we like to do a little bit of cha little bitty changes <laughs> to try to get bigger outcomes so um, yeah, join a, join along with us to see how it turns out. We still fully expect to use list perfectly and all that, um, for the cross listing. We're not going to stop cross listing, no. <laughs> but eBay, eBay is our biggest seller. So it makes sense to, you know, put stuff on the, on eBay first and see if we don't have to do that extra work with that stuff. So just trying to maximize our time. Really? That's all it is. So yeah. And then we had two more eBay sales. Yeah. One is mine and one is actually Chris's. So I'll let him do the yeah. last one. Yeah. Uh, so box U. Right here. This is just a Nintendo DS Rumble Pack. So this was like a free to us. We didn't buy this. So right. No, why we have it, but <laughs> we did. So I listed it um, just like a day or two ago and it already sold for $12.95 plus ship. They were looking, the comps were between like 15 and 20. So I listed mine at 15 plus ship. Send an offer to a watcher of twelve ninety five plus ship. So free money to me. Yeah. Right, and you then, want me to hold your camera? Do you no, I, I can okay. I can hold the camera. <laughs> so uh yeah, I, I had that pile of things that I was listing and and this um 
what is this, a Topps 1977 original line of Star Wars. I don't know if you can see it. Star Wars cards. This uh, was a... Um, misprint? I, I don't think it's a misprint, but you can kind of see. This is nicknamed the Goldenrod card, and um, so it's kind of <laughs> sought out because they... They printed and, and delivered these cards, and then they stopped making them because people were complaining and nicknaming it the Goldenrod card. And um, so they reprinted it without that mistake, I guess, if it's a mistake. Um, I think it just it just happens to look bad. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that sold for how much? I didn't... $80.06 plus $80.06 shipping. plus shipping. So <laughs> there was... Quite a few of them on eBay, uh, but they all seem to sell. So the sell through it was was super good on them, um, and it's in good shape. But you can kind of see the centering on it. Uh, it it's a little off center, so uh, which I guess matters a lot in cards. But I would have just done that in the garbage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. Um, so we just had it. It actually was uh, Kathy's uncle's, who's no longer with us, and we just happened to get some of his. Star Wars cards and uh, it was just in with like some old pictures. Yeah, that going through, so. it was in like the photo album book box. So, um, yeah, we kind of just hung on to them and was looking through them one day, and I was like, "Hey, Star Wars stuff is collectible." So I searched it, and we happened to have that one card. I don't know if there's very many of those cards that are super valuable like that one, but because we have, I don't know, like thirty other cards from that series and that's the only one that's really worth selling on its own so i'm probably gonna lot up the others i just haven't got to it but yeah that's kind of what sold for us today um i don't know <laughs> we'll go ahead and get the stuff packed up that's what we're gonna do so we'll get the stuff packed up and we'll be right back all right we got all that stuff packed up and it's a little bit later going on four o'clock kathy just got done photographing some um, some stuff, and that stuff's ready to be bagged. We also have these some more shoes here that Kathy has got listed. <laughs> not listed. Either. Oh, not listed. I just typed those in. Well, those are my newest purchases, so they're typed in. They need the Goodwill stickers taken off. They need the numbers taken off. Yeah. The bottoms. Yeah, photographs. Some of them need cleaned, but. Yeah, that might not happen till tomorrow. So, <laughs> just piles everywhere. Well, we, we did make a Facebook sale in the last few minutes. I'm gonna pull that really fast. Yeah, so that's our fourth, our fourth. Yeah. Facebook sale so far. Oh, and we did. So we did see our first one got delivered, and then when we were like trying to do a screenshot for oh, our video, yeah. we, because we mentioned like it was showing that it wasn't taking a fee out, which we thought was weird. But yeah. Um. So when we looked at that one, it did seem like it took a fee out, which is yeah. like five percent, not. Yeah, time. I think it was, it was a very low fee, like it was two fifty or something. Two fifty on fifty dollars sale. Fifty dollars sale. Yep. It's like five percent. So, yeah. So I guess they do take a fee. I don't know why it's it still not show showing up them up on the main ones. So. And we did have a couple of people comment saying the same thing. So they saw the same thing. Yeah, that's just weird. Um, and we are experiencing mm -hmm. that same thing. So. But, it's weird that they don't show the, the the fee up front, but hey, it's only five percent. So, <laughs> yeah, we re I didn't price them any lower because I thought it was free or anything. So, anyways, what sold today was the Stampin' Up set, and this sold for ten dollars plus shipping. I have a dollar fifty into it, so not too bad. Yeah. <laughs> Random sale. It's been listed on all the other platforms for months and months, and nobody <laughs> wanted it. So, all right. What so, else were we? Uh, momentum um, board. We've. Yeah, same as it's yesterday. Not too much to update, but... <laughs> I haven't listed today, so yesterday's 14. I didn't get anything done after that, other than typing these in, but not photographing them yet. Yeah, so tonight I did photograph that pile like Chris Yeah, said, she did photograph so all this stuff here. Tonight, we're just... It's, tonight's the night's supposed to start snowing, so we're just hunkering down here. I'll probably lay on the couch, watch some movies with the kids, and yeah. list up while they watch. I'll show you the condition of the weather right now. Just got some dark clouds out. It's about almost four o'clock now. So it was pretty foggy this morning. Pretty cold. Not too cold, but 
30 very, degrees or it so. It looks cool to me. <laughs> <laughs> um, so. But yeah, that's kind of what's going on. I kind of wish I had like a, like a time-lapse camera because I think it's possible that we're going to get up to two feet of snow. That's what they're saying. So I think that'd be cool to get like a time-lapse. But oh yeah, we're going to pick some more items out of the... The money closet. I don't know if I wanted to, but I mean, we're, we're getting down there. That's yeah. almost done, man. Uh, so this one, do you want to like figure that out well, this weekend? <laughs> oh, this is this a zipper? This one is like a new attack jacket, but yeah, as I was photographing it the first time, I noticed the zipper was broke, so. Yeah. And I actually bought this for Chris and he just, he said it made him too hot. <laughs> it's just a jacket. <laughs> it's, it's supposed to make you warm. <laughs> But anyway, so he didn't want it. Um, but yeah, the zipper was broke. And because I bought it for him, I didn't get it for very cheap. But I paid up because it was new. And I was like, well, if he doesn't want it, I'll sell it. But and I want to we... sell it with the broken zipper. So I'm going to try to figure that out. I just know if it's hanging in here, we won't do it. So right. We need to hang it on our bed or something <laughs> so that we have to. And we know zippers and stuff can be fixed. Um, we just haven't gotten to knowledge you know we haven't done enough searching or figuring it all out but we know it can be done that's why we hung on to it one two so i'm gonna do this converse jacket it's a youth 1416 uh this j crew schoolboy jacket oh, blazer this is just a sims jacket Man, there's not too many choices <laughs> left. I really do want to do these two sleeping bags. So. Alright, that's the five. I'm just going to set them here. So those are just My Snow White <laughs> sleeping bag. What's that other one? Um, Care, Bears? Care Bears. Yeah. So, 2003 almost vintage. I don't know when this is from, but I felt like it was vintage. It's cool. Snow White's like one of my favorite Disney movies. Yeah. And then those jackets there. Yeah, so and then we'll figure out the zipper on that marmot. At the end of next week, we might be through all that. Yeah. All right. That's what we're going to do this evening. So thank you so much uh, for watching, everybody. Um, going to go ahead and get these packages off to the post office. So we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.